This is how I built my private label launch list. Up to 2,357 emails, 1,800 Facebook likes, 800 YouTube subscribers, and 450 Instagram followers for under 30 cents per email. And how you can as well. Stay tuned. What's up everybody, Todd Welch here from The Entrepreneur Adventure and in this video I'm going to give you an overview of how I built my email launch list. I ended up getting 2,357 emails for under 30 cents per email which is really excellent. I was aiming for 50 cents to one dollar per email so the results have been awesome with this method that I'm about to show you. Now. I'm gonna give you an overview in this YouTube video, but if you're interested in digging in deeper, there's gonna be a link down below for a webinar, a live webinar that I'm gonna do, and we're gonna walk through step-by-step step exactly how I did this process, and I can help you live as well. In addition, if you want one-on-one -on -one personal help, I'm gonna have a link down below as well for my one hour coaching call that we can jump on a video coaching call one on one and I can help you with this process as well. While you're down there, click the subscribe button and then click that little bell right next to it so you get notified of more awesome videos just like this one. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna flip this around and show you my desktop and show you exactly what I did to build my email launch list. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna show you the tools that I used to make this happen. So number one, to run the contest, the giveaway, I used gleam.io. I have to shout out Pat Flynn over at Smart Passive Income for pointing this awesome app out for me. Um, gleam.io allows you to set up a contest and then utilize a whole bunch of viral and social sharing options to really increase the velocity of your contest. Number two, I used leadpages.net, which is a basically a company that allows you to make uh, landing pages or splash pages very easily um, so that you can run your contest and have a website to point people to that is basically just focuses them in on the contest. I use ConvertKit for my email list because you have to have a website or a company, I'm sorry, that uh, allows you to build your email list and then send out emails and follow up with those customers. So I use ConvertKit. And then lastly, of course, I used Facebook ads to run the ads targeted to people who would be interested um, in this contest on Facebook. Um, now, if you're interested in any of these services, I'm gonna have links down below. Um, a lot of those will probably be affiliate links, which basically means that no additional cost to you. If you sign up for those services through those links, I will get a small cut of that and you'll help me continue to create more awesome videos for free just like this for you. Now let's go ahead and jump into each one of these and I'm going to show you exactly what I created for my giveaway. So the first thing you're probably going to want to do is sign up for your email list because you're going to have to have your email list. Um, the pricing on ConvertKit is uh, gonna be only $30 per month. So go ahead and just sign up for this intro package, 30 bucks per month. It's gonna allow you to have up to 1,000 subscribers and it's automatically gonna boost you up to these other levels as you build your subscribers in your email address list or in your email list. So sign up for ConvertKit because we're gonna need some information from that in the contest so that emails automatically flow in. So after you've signed up for ConvertKit, um, we're gonna wanna sign up and create an account in Gleam.io. Now the pricing on Gleam.io, I just signed up for the competitions, which is gonna allow you to run giveaway. Um, it starts at $10 per month. 
Now I bumped it up to the $49 per month because I wanted this viral share action, which allows people to share the contest out to their friends, which is very important. So for that one, I did the $49 per month um, and signed up for that. So let's go ahead and jump into the back end of Gleam.io after you've signed up. Um, you're gonna end up on a page similar to this one to create your competition is what they call it in Gleam.io. I call it a giveaway, they call it a competition. Um, same thing in this case. Um, there's lots of other options you can do with Gleam.io, but we're gonna focus in on the giveaway here. So what I did is I created a new competition and I'm just gonna click on my competition that I already have here and go into the edit. And so I created kind of a, an example of basically exactly what I did for mine. Obviously this doesn't have the same data because I don't want to give you my private label brand. Um, so I generated this one here. Um, so what you're going to have to do in Gleam.io is set it up. So the first thing is just to give it a name. I did your brand name, Garlic Lovers Cooking Giveaway. Um, set a, a start date and an end date. Um, you can set some terms and conditions here if you want. I did not enter anything there. Um, and the basic language is English. I left all this down here as defaults. Under user details, if you want, you can set a minimum age. I did not worry about that because what I'm giving away is nothing. Um, it doesn't really matter what the age is. Now here, you're gonna wanna set your Facebook page. This is the Facebook page that you're gonna have created for your brand. Um, so to run this, you're gonna have to have a Facebook page. So if you haven't done that already, make sure you create a Facebook page uh, which is very easy. On the left side, when you're logged into Facebook, down over here on the right, just click on Create Page, and it will walk you through creating the page for your business. Now back to Gleam.io, you're gonna paste your Facebook page website address in here. Um, I grabbed one for garlic because that's just what I'm gonna throw out to a Scott Volker over at The Amazing Seller um, for the garlic press. Um, and that's kind of what I'm using here as an example. Um, so I have my Facebook page there. And we're gonna allow people to log into the contest with any of these services. You can add additional ones as well. And basically what this is, uh, when they sign up for the contest, um, they're going to have to enter their email address. But instead of entering their email address, they could also sign in with one of these services and it's going to pull the information from that service uh, for the information that we need to sign them up for the contest. Uh, so these are the ones that I selected. Um, I believe they were the default and I just left those at the default. Um, looking back on it, it might have been good to maybe add in YouTube because that's one of the areas that I'm targeting. Um, if you're targeting trying to grow your list on a different platform, you might want to select that platform um, as a way for them to log into the contest. Um, and we'll see more on that, exactly what I mean here in a little bit. Um, for the fields, I have full name and email address. I believe the default was only email. I like to get people's first name at least um, so that I can address them in email. So I added in the full name. Um, unfortunately, they don't have a column just for first name, um, but they do have full name. So I put that in there uh, for that. Step three, this is where we have some fun. This is how they can get entered into the contest. Um, and this is what where Gleam.io really stands out above other uh, competition or giveaway uh, plugins or software that's out there. In that we set up the first action that they have to do is sign up for our email address or our email list. 
and you can see here that it is mandatory and it's worth one entry um, but it is required that they sign up for the newsletter um, sign up for our email list to get entered um, and now here from ConvertKit we have that set up with what's called an API key which allows Gleam IO to connect into ConvertKit and uh, pull the form information or basically the list that we're going to sign them up to. Um, so I have that API information here and then I have the form selected that they're going to sign up. So what this is going to do is going to, when someone signs up for the giveaway, it's automatically going to send their email over and put it into our email list. All right, now if you have other email services, they have those as well, like MailChimp and others you can add as well if you're already using something else. They have lots of them here on the uh, email integration. All right, so that is the sign up newsletter. So now after they sign up for the newsletter, they're going to get a list of other things that they can do to get additional entries. And what I did, and this is why I needed to bump up to that $50 level, this is called Viral Share. And what this allows them to do is share the contest out to their social media and get entries for every person that they get to sign up. And what I decided to do is that for every person that they get to sign up, they get 15 extra entries. So this is a big boost or really gives them the incentive to share the giveaway because if they get someone else to sign up for the contest, they get 15 extra entries. And I allowed them to share on all of the different platforms, uh, whatever way they want to do it. Um, down here is what you're going to have as the default share text. Uh, when they share this out, this is going to default in there. Um, and here is the body uh, for the email if they decided to share it by email. And you can type in there whatever you want. This is an example of what I typed for my contest. Next one that I did is bonus entries for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Um, and I gave them 10 additional entries for subscribing to the YouTube channel. So here is where I posted my YouTube channel um, URL address so that when they click on this, it's going to take them to my channel on YouTube and they can click subscribe and then Gleam.io verifies that subscription, gives them an additional 10 entries to the contest. Next, I did Facebook and I gave them four additional entries for signing up for Facebook. And here's the link to our Facebook page for this contest. Um, and they need to like the page to get the additional entries. And last here is the Instagram. I gave an additional four entries for Instagram for signing up for Instagram. Um, and entered the URL here for Instagram. Now there's all these other ways. If you have other things that you want to promote, just click on any one of these and you can add that as a requirement or not necessarily a requirement, um, but a way for them to get additional entries. You can see the only thing that I made mandatory is the sign up for the newsletter. Everything else I left optional. I want the email address, everything else they can do if they want to get additional entries. You could make it required if you wanted. I didn't. I just wanted to get the email address and naturally people did more to get more entries. All right, so that is how to enter and then the prize setup. So here is the title of the prize and this is exactly what I entered for mine. Your brand name and then some information about the giveaway and the value in there. And then in the description, I put some information about what I'm giving away in the giveaway. And one winner, if you wanted to do more winners, you could, but I did one winner. 
Down here, we put a featured picture. Um, this picture is going to show up on the giveaway. Number five, this is the default email that's going to go out uh, when someone signs up for the giveaway. Um, and it allows them to see what additional entries they could do um, if they chose to and allows them to complete those remaining entries and also do the viral share to share out to all their friends. And then here is the install options. So this is how you're going to install the giveaway into your lead page, which is what we're gonna jump over to and look at next. Uh, before we do that, just so you can see what this is gonna look like, here is the result of the widget that it creates. Uh, so 29 days left, the title that we put in there, the image, the description, and then ways for people to enter. Okay, so now let's go ahead and jump over to lead pages. So as I said, now in lead pages, it allows you to create a landing page. So this is an example, pretty much exactly how I created my landing page. So I had my logo up on top here. Um, you can see in lead pages, I can just click here and change the photo if I wanted to. Um, and you can pretty much click on all of this. So enter for a chance to win. You can see I can just change that information to whatever I want. Here I put an image of what the giveaway is going to be. Contest ends in and I added this timer, which is really easy. Um, you can just change the time right here in lead pages, works really well. And then here, this is an HTML block. And this is the code that I copied from gleam.io. If we go into here where it says code install, this is the text, the embedded widget code that I copied and I pasted right in this HTML block here um, and saved that. Um, now, just a little bit more on this. If you wanted to add additional stuff to this, over here you have widgets and you can add all these different things really easy just by dragging and dropping this over here. So now we have a text field here. Make that black. So yeah, now we have a text here. We can type anything we want in. Same with all the rest of these. You can just drag and drop them um, and add things to the page. Really easy like that. All right, so now if we hit preview here, this is exactly what my page looked like uh, when people landed on it. So they landed here, they've got the logo, the contest ends in, and here is the widget for them to sign up. And so what they would do is they would scroll down here, they would enter their name, enter their email address, save that and after they save now they have the option to do all of the remaining things to get additional entries and all they have to do is click on one of these and you can see refer friends for extra entries they can either copy this link and share it they can click on any of these and share to all of their favorite social media places and as it says here they're going to get an additional 15 entries for every person they share um, now the bonus entries for YouTube, all we have to do is click on that. They can click on subscribe here, takes them over to your YouTube page and automatically asks if they want to subscribe. They hit subscribe, come back to the contest, click continue, and gleam.io is going to go ahead and verify that they did actually subscribe. And it does that by having them log into um, their YouTube account to verify. And you can see now it has a check mark so they know that they got those entries. Um, next, 
they can visit the Facebook page. So if we do that, um, now according to Facebook's terms, um, they're not allowed to force a like to get the entries. Um, so really they just have to visit it to get the likes uh, or to get the entries, um, but most people like the page um, from what I found. So they'd come over here, they'd click like, close that, hit continue, and you can see we've got those entries. Now the visit the Instagram page. Again, same thing with Instagram. They just have to visit the page um, because according to their terms, they don't allow forcing likes or follows. But if they go ahead and come here, most likely they're gonna follow. So we're gonna click that follow button and we come back, click continue. And now they have all of those entries. Um, this one is not going to check off because they have not referred anyone yet. Um, to get the referral points, they have to share it and then someone from their referral link has to come back and sign up before they get the 15 points. All right, so now they're entered in everything. And if we scroll to the top, you can see that they have, or that they would see that they have 19 entries and there's 29 days left in the contest. Now I did for my contest a full 30 days. It's kind of long. Um, you might only want to do two weeks, but I knew my brand, my product wasn't going to be released yet. So I wanted to push it out for 30 days and it seemed to go really well. Um, now something to keep in mind is if you're going to have a long contest like that, you're not going to want to leave your email list dead you're gonna be wanting to send content out to your email list. What I did is I found content from other websites that they would be interested in and sent that out to them by email. Um, I also started doing like a photo contest where people would submit photos, um, uh, doing different things related to the products that I'm selling. Um, and I would do some uh, just giveaways of little things with, uh, with the photo contest and stuff like that on the Facebook page and email and Instagram. Um, and I've also been posting YouTube videos as well related to my brand just to keep people engaged and going through. If you're gonna have this long of a contest, 30 days, you're gonna wanna keep people engaged. And, and no matter what, you're building this list to engage uh, with your followers. So you're gonna want to be sending emails, making posts on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, if you're using all those. You don't have to use all those. You could just use the email list or you could just use uh, the email list in Facebook, whatever, wherever your audience is at um, is the most important. But I decided to go with um, email, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube to grow my list. All right, so that is the lead pages. And so now they're signed up with the contest. Um, but obviously we need to get people over there. So let's go ahead and jump over to the Facebook ad. So with the Facebook ad, what I did is I created a Facebook ad using the conversions. And now the conversions are going to be determined using a Facebook pixel. And a Facebook pixel, what it is, is a little piece of code that we're gonna put on the page and it's gonna track visitors to the page. And it's gonna track uh, when they hit the page and after they sign up for the contest so that we know if they actually signed up for the contest because we're gonna to wanna to target more people like the people who sign up for the contest. And when, at, when Facebook knows that information, they can now target people more towards those who do actually convert on the contest or sign up for the giveaway. Um, with the Facebook pixel, you can get the Facebook pixel up here by going to your pixels and creating a pixel. And in gleam.io, you can enter that in your giveaway on step five here. If we scroll all the way down, right here is where we can do pixel tracking and you can see you'd add your Facebook pixel here, 
post your pixel ID and make sure this is set to onload plus conversions. So that way we know when they land on the page and we also know when they sign up for the contest. That way with the ad, we can track the conversions. All right, so back to Facebook ads here. We'd select conversions, we'd scroll down, give your campaign a name, and hit continue. And on this page is where you're gonna set up the main part. You're gonna paste your website in here, which is gonna be your website address from lead pages. And then you're gonna set up your audience. So this is where you really wanna drill down and target who you think your audience is going to be. You can select their location, you can select age, gender, language, and then here's what's really important is their demographics, interests, or behavior. So if we type garlic in here, let's see if anything comes up. So yes, you can see right here, garlic is an interest on Facebook, and you can see 46,453,750 people are interested in garlic on Facebook. So yes, you can target people who are interested in garlic on Facebook. So let's go ahead and select garlic. And then what I like to do is narrow it down even further. So I like to narrow audience and go even further. So let's just type garlic again and see what other options we have. Um, let's actually do cooking people who are interested in cooking. So let's add that in here because we're having a cooking giveaway. Um, so just because they're interested in garlic doesn't necessarily they're gonna buy your garlic press uh, to cook with. They have to be also interested in cooking. Um, let's see, narrow it even further. So garlic, cooking, um, let's say, all right, so let's narrow it down. If we click browse here, let's target people who are engaged shoppers, people who have clicked on the call to action button to shop now in the past week, which means they're buying stuff online on Facebook. So let's click that. And you can see over here, our audience size, <clears throat> our audience size is still at 74 million people, which is still pretty broad. You really wanna get this below the 50% line here um, to really target in on people who you think are gonna buy your product. So let's maybe change the age. Let's say people who buy our product are probably gonna more likely be 30 to 65 plus. Um, and let's go ahead and narrow further. People who are interested in cookware and bakeware. All right, we're at 52 million people there. Let's narrow it even further. Let's see what other options we can get. Um, let's see if we want maybe their education level is college graduate. All right, we're getting down there a little bit. Um, just for expedience here, let's just select a narrower age range and we'll go with women. And English for the language. All right, and we're down to six million people, still pretty broad, but we're getting down there. So you're just gonna wanna keep narrowing it down um, and try to get fairly specific. Closer to the specific, the better. Um, if you know, if you don't know for sure, leave it more broad. And then as you're running your Facebook ads, you can look at the statistics, see who is converting the most and narrow it even further. Facebook gives you really good statistics about who's clicking on and converting on your ad. It'll tell you their 
uh, age range, their gender, uh, lots of different information about the people clicking on your ad. All right, so let's go down here. Um, automatic placements is what I left it at. Um, and what I did here is a lifetime budget of $570 I decided to do. And I did a start date of the beginning of my contest and an end date of one day before the end of my contest so that it's just running those over that time period. All of this down here, conversions, a seven day window. I did here, you're gonna wanna do one day after clicking because either they're gonna sign up for the contest right away or they're not. So you want a quick conversion window there. And that is it. We would hit continue and the next step would be to set up the ad. So let's go ahead and click continue. And here's where you're gonna select your page and connect in your Instagram account here. I did a single image ad and you can upload the image here. So there's an example of the image that I created. Um, for my advertisement. Entered the website URL here. For the headline, I just took what I had for the prize and put that there. For the call to action, you can leave that on learn more. Um, now you can see here, this name is a little bit too long, so giveaway is being cut off here, which I don't like. So I'm probably gonna move that to the front. Something like that. So that way it shows up right at the top there. All right, so for the newsfeed link description, I put register to win over $200 worth of garlic cooking equipment, the essentials you need for cooking the best garlic ever. Enter here now with a link to the website there. And then I entered the same here in this text, which is gonna show up here. And you can see we flip through, you got the information that's showing up in the different ad formats. And that is really it as far as the ad. So we have the ad. We'd wanna fix this picture so that the dimensions are better um, and it's showing all of the product. Uh, Facebook does not like text in the image. So make sure you're not typing like giveaway and stuff like that on the image. That'll decrease the results that you get um, so really just put a picture of the products you're giving away, which will pique people's interest. Um, and then in the text, you have the information about the giveaway um, to get people to click over to it. So that is really it. As I said, uh, there's my results. You can see for yourself, 2,355 signups on the email, 1,411 clicks over to Facebook. It actually ended up being about 1,800 likes because remember, this is going viral and plus people are gonna like your page just from the ad. Um, 1,198 clicks over to Instagram. Um, didn't get as many followers there as clicks, um, but still got that for about 450. Um, 687 refer a friend entries so people shared it and we got an additional 687 entries from that and then bonus entries um, 583 people clicked and subscribed to the youtube channel um, which got the ball rolling over there so i ended up getting 800 subscriptions in that period um, of people clicking over so obviously more people signed up for or subscribe to the YouTube channel then even clicked over um, because it got the ball rolling for us. So that's it. That's how I built my launch list for my new private label brand that I'm launching here shortly. And I think the results speak for themselves less than 30 cents per email sign up. Now I did have a small email list before I launched of a few hundred people and I did email out to that and I had built that list up by building content on Facebook and YouTube and things like that. So that helped a little bit, but that was a very small 
percentage of the overall growth of the email list. So 30 cents, that was the result for me. The results may be different depending on your niche and things like that, but if you can get it around 50 cents to $1 per email sign up, that is excellent and it's going to be worth its weight in gold when you launch your product and you have that built up list. So if you have any questions at all, please post them down there in the comments. Click that subscribe and that bell to get notified of more videos like this. And if you're interested in that live webinar where we're gonna go into even more detail on this, I'm gonna walk you through step by step signing up for these processes and how you can do the exact same thing that I did. Click the link down below to get signed up for that. And if you want one-on-one -on -one training on this, I can walk you through one-on-one -on -one how to set up this. Down below, click and sign up for my one-hour coaching call, one-on-one -on -one video coaching call. So that is it, building my launch list. This is Todd Welch with the Entrepreneur Adventure signing off. Happy selling, everybody.